disregard of the Constitution and the laws of Kenya by Mr. Chebukati and the minority of IBC commissioners. The law is clear on the role of the chairperson of the IBC. The law does not vest in the chairperson the powers of a dictator to rule the IBC unilaterally. The IBC is structured as a democratic institution in which decisions must be taken either by consensus or by a vote of the majority. The chairperson and a tiny minority of commissioners have no legal authority to take weighty decisions and proclaim them at the rulings of the IEBC. The law on the IEBC provides that unless a unanimous decision is reached, a decision on any matter before the commission shall be by a majority of the members present and voting. I want to repeat. Unless a unanimous decision is reached, a decision on any matter before the commission shall be by a majority of the members present and voting. In addition, the Court of Appeal in the Maina Kiai case ruled, and I quote again, reiterate as we conclude that there is no doubt from the architecture of the laws we have considered, considered that, the, that people the people of Kenya, of Kenya did, did not, not intend, intend to, to vest, vest or concentrate such sweeping and boundless powers in one individual that is the chairperson of the appellant. That is why I and uh, Azimio Laumoja, one Kenya, and the nation at large were shocked yesterday to learn that Mr. Chibukati alone decided to pronounce himself on the, supposed, on the supposed winner of the 2022 presidential elections. We understand that only Mr. Chibukati alone had access to the tally of the presidential vote. He denied all the commissioners access to that information until he suddenly appeared before the commissioners in the late afternoon to present them with a fait accompli. Barely two hours before his announcement, Mr. Bukati called a meeting of the IEBC and revealed to them the different results he was going to announce. Four of the seven protested Mr. Chebukati's actions. But Mr. Chebukati, whose mind appeared made up, did not entertain any discussion of the results, precipitating a walkout by a majority of the commissioners who promptly denounced the results at a press conference. We know what happened next. A majority of the commissioners walked out and held a press conference where they denounced the results. Our view in Azimio is clear. The figures announced by Mr. Chibukati are null and void. I repeat, the figures announced by Mr. Chibukati are null and void and must be quashed by a court of law. In our view, there's neither a legally and validly declared winner nor a president elect. <laughs> Mr. Chibukati's announcement purporting to announce a winner is a nullity. <laughs> he acted with gross impunity and in total disregard of the Constitution and our laws. He could have plunged our country into chaos had our supporters not ex exercised great restraint. Such blunt and acts of impunity can be a threat to the security of our country. It is not up to us to decide whether Mr. Chibukati has committed an offense. 
we leave that determination to the appropriate authorities. But for avoidance of doubt, I want to repeat that we totally and without reservations reject the, pre the presidential results announced yesterday by Mr. Chibukati. I want to commend our supporters for remaining calm and keeping the peace and urge them to continue to do so. Let no one take the law into their own hands. We are pursuing constitutional and lawful channels and processes to invalidate Mr. Chibukati's illegal and unconstitutional pronouncement. We are certain that justice will prevail. prevail. I want to further commend the heroism of the four commissioners, the majority of the IABC, who stood up to the bullying and the illegal conduct of Mr. Chibukati. We are proud of them and ask them not to fear anything. Kenyans are with them. Today, I do not want to fully address our strategies going forward, but suffice it to note that we will be pursuing all constitutional and legal options available to us. We will do so because we regard the many flaws in the elections and the wrongs committed by the IBC as fatal to the process and the outcome announced by Mr. Chibukati. We urge Kenyans and the friends and partners of Kenya abroad to stand tall and be counted as we seek to advance the ideals of democracy and an open society that we have always stood for. We will pursue justice for our supporters and for all Kenyans so that their choices are respected and honored. May God bless you and may God bless Kenya. Nataka kuchukua tunafusa hii. Kutoa shukrani kwa Kenya wezangu. Ambayo wameshiriki katika uchaguzi ambayo mepita. Wameonyesha ujasiri. Wameonyesha uzalendo. Na upendo kwa nchi yao. Wa Kenya kile mahali walijitokeza. Wakapiga kura kwa njia ya amani. Na sasa yale ambayo yalibaki ni tume ya uchaguzi kwa kisha kwamba ile ndoto ya wana Kenya imeheshimiwa tumegundua hitilafu ambayo imefanyika katika IBC ambayo imejaribu kutaka kukiuka yale ambayo wakenya wenyewe walikuwa wamefanya Tumeona yale ambayo imefanywa na yule mwenyekiti wa tume ya uchaguzi bwana uh, Fula Shebukati. Kwa kujaribu kupendua ili wamuzi ya wa Kenya. Anafanya hivyo bila kushauriana na wale wenzake ambaye wako pale pamoja na yeye katika tume ya uchaguzi. Sisi wana Kenya na wanaazimio tunapenda amani. Tunapenda umoja wa Kenya taka kuona kama wa Kenya maungana kama kitu kimoja ndio tunaongea juu ya azimio la umoja tuko na nia ya kuona kwamba Kenya imetoka katika janga la ufukara janga ya kutokuwa na imani na amani na janga ya ubaguzi ya kikabila ili wa Kenya waungane kama watu moja waweze kutekeleza wajibu yao kulingana na ndoto ya mwanzilishi wa taifa letu Hatuta kubali nataka kurudia hai hatuta kubali mtu mmoja ajaribu kuleta vurugu katika taifa letu kujaribu vile vile kubadilisha yale ambayo wa Kenya wameamua kama watu mmoja wa Kenya hawatakubali hatuta kubali tutazidi kutetea nchi yetu na katiba letu kama wa Kenya 
ili Kenya iweze kuendelea mbele. Asante ni sana. Mungu ibariki Kenya nchi yetu. Ebe bigambo ya Laila Odinga ya sodo kubanga vayo unakuwayo na banga ategeza banna Kenya kuotekana ensi ebadde molindi do kubanga baulira bichi bya gendo kubanga ayogera ko eri gwanga ovanyo ala kubante unakule gulo mukuru akulira akachiko ko byo kulonda ku mugwana bya mafa wa Kenya chebukati ya sodo kubanga vayo na langira wiya muruto nga yo muwanguzi wa kaluruko mondi guno ngira sodo kubanga wala afuna ebitundu yabadde atano no butuntundu ana Mumuenda, chasa wado kubanga, chimule tito kubanga, langiru wanga presento wa wanafa wa Kenya, wa munu ndi ugokutano. Sada kwa tala ida odinga, abada singo kubanga, abeda kuninga, wabagu wa singo kubanga, wabagu ganyanya enyo na ye. Abada ali ndiridu wa kubanga, chasa wado kubanga, afune tunu badai, anamu monana. Abada ali ndiridu wa kubanga, avayo kubanga, na yako la press conference, wakumanya yechi, chagendo kubanga, zako. Era, onako wali no? ngao sodo kubanga muli ya sodo kubanga atuza oru kukana wana mauli ya naba anga vodeo na watekeza niti uboya wini wa sodo kubanga bala angiria sibi tufu ya na sodo kubanga kilizika nyana vyo ya na sodo kubanga wana wana watekeza niti akati utoge ya kusawa zino kenya teina mkule mbeze uloe so nganti ye chebukati ya sodo kubanga ala angiria na kilizika nyana vyo ilo voli yao na sodo kubanga iba zizawa na kenyo kubanga baku mie mire mbe ya na basawa kubanga voli yao Bagi na masu na kubanga waku maemile mpikada chiri nilidwa Ila ila odengo kubanga gena mkoti ya kubanga ateka yo Ukwe murugu nyakwe na dara kwe yasa wado kubanga viva Mkulonda kwa wanafa wa Kenya Bina gena masu tuja kubatu kutusa kuwa na kuyubies tv official Gena masu kwa tana kubango subscribinga Subscribinga kwa teka nawe Osa wado kubango sharinga kukona mikuwa nogo Uwoli ya wanatubanga tugena masu na kubanga tutambula na kumanya